Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out what might be one of the best crawl trailers that I have ever seen. This is the 3.4 inch Glory Crawl from Epic Bait Molds. It's a new mold from them and this thing is absolutely awesome. Perfect for a crawl imitator. And my friend just dropped off a whole bunch of jigs, a whole bunch of chatter baits. We're going to mix some green pumpkin up, shoot some of these baits in that green pumpkin uh, and pair them with some jigs for a good bluegill imitation. Uh, and I think you guys are going to like it. It is one of the best crawl imitators I've seen. And it's going to look absolutely killer on the back of a jig uh, and the back of a chatterbait. So stick around. Let's make some baits and make it happen. Okay, so here is our green pumpkin. Uh, it's a little bit different than my green pumpkin brown. It has a little more green in it, as you can see. The green pumpkin brown is a little bit more brown, but these are going to pair up pretty dang nicely uh, with those jigs. Okay, so we have some chatter baits here that my friend dropped off. They look absolutely amazing. This is probably one of my favorite bluegill style skirts. Uh, it just has a lot of stuff going on, a lot of oranges. Uh, a lot of greens, a lot of browns, even has a little bit of uh, speckle there, as you can see. Big fan of that. And then he gave me some jigs here uh, in a very similar color. What I like about these uh, is that orange even has a little bit of red flake on it. So uh, kind of cool, something different, and it's going to pair up really good with these uh, green pumpkin crawls. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw one on the back of this chatterbait here. And I actually like throwing a crawl on the back of a chatterbait. I have quite a bit. Uh, of success doing that. So I'm just going to get this the direction that I want it. See if I can pop it out right here. Get that skirt out of the way. And then slide this up on that. Just like so. And man. What a good looking setup that is. Holy cow. That matches pretty good. It almost disappears in there. Uh, the crawls hang out just enough to give it some profile, but that is a beautiful setup there, uh, and it's actually a really good size for that chatterbait. So, definitely worth checking that out. You can see some appendages sticking out here, uh, and that is an amazing crawl trailer. Uh, with a shorter skirt, this would look probably a little bit better, but I kind of like it. I like the crawls just hanging out the back here, uh, and in the water, everything's going to be moving around so much, it's just going to give it a lot more flair. So that is it on the back of a chatterbait. Let's put it on the back of one of these jigs, which is a little bit smaller here. I'm going to use one of these I have over here. See if I can feed it through. Pop it out that same spot. Get that skirt out of the way. Push it up on that keeper. And let's see here. Yeah, that hangs out a little bit more, kind of a little more of the size I was hoping for. You can see a lot of that hanging out the bottom there, and it's just a great crawl trailer. I mean, you can't ask for much better uh, of a crawl trailer than that. I can see the appendage is good, uh, and it just hangs out so beautifully. I'm definitely going to be throwing this on the back of my chatterbaits uh, and jigs for a while. You could also throw this uh, on a football head, and I think that would work pretty good as well. He gave me some of those to try out. But that is a beautiful, beautiful trailer there. Now, he also gave me another jig. This is a bigger jig here. This is uh, quite heavy of a head. But we're going to put one on the back of this, too, just to check out what it looks like. Uh, and I'm going to sell a couple of these as pairs with some jigs that he gave me, uh, just kind of as a combo-type deal. 
we did a little bit of a tackle swap on some stuff. So definitely check out the Etsy store if you're interested in buying uh, maybe some combo type stuff. I'm going to pop this over that. Yeah, and there is another beautiful jig. Yeah, those look good. I love the crawls hanging out the back. It is a great profile, uh, and it matches the bluegill skirt so well. You know, I think you could do that. Maybe even do something that had uh, a little bit more orange in it, and you could have a beautiful set of baits there. I think if you did maybe even a laminate that had the uh, green pumpkin on one side and maybe an orange on the other, that would look awesome as well. So here's a little bit of an idea how big they are in my hand. They're the perfect size, in my opinion. You know, they fit really good on a jig. They fit really good on a common chatterbait size. You know, they got the six appendages on the side, the two claws and the antenna. And you could rig this thing so many different ways. You could use it as a trailer. You could use it as a Ned rig. You could Texas rig this thing. You could throw it on a football head. You could throw it uh, on a wobble head. Man, you could do so many different things with this. Uh, but pairing it with a jig or a chatterbait really is a great option. So I have to say, that's probably one of the best DIY uh, crawl trailers you can get, especially for a chatterbait and for a jig. These look amazing, and this color pairs awesome with a bluegill pattern, and I think that's going to get bit a lot here in Oklahoma. That is going to be a good pair, and I think you guys would like this as a DIY option. Maybe you go through a bunch of these, or maybe you just want a mold on hand where you can make any color you want to pair with whatever jigs. Uh, it's honestly pretty fun sitting back uh, and making some trailers that match your jigs. It's pretty fun. It's pretty relaxing, uh, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So there you have it, guys. We made some jig trailers, some chatterbait trailers in that new mold from Epic Bait Molds. Phenomenal mold. Would highly recommend it. If you want to DIY yourself some crawl trailers, it is a great mold for that, uh, and you could do endless color opportunities to match all of your jigs, all your chatterbaits, uh, and then you can use them as a standalone too, which is awesome. Uh, if you want to pick up that mold, I'll leave a link in the description to Epic Bait Molds. Be sure to check them out. They are a great company. Uh, and if you want to buy any baits from me, there'll be a link below to my store. Uh, all that money that you spend there goes back into this so I can keep making these kind of videos for you guys. Uh, I'm going to have two packs of jig and crawl combos where you can buy a jig with a set of six trailers. Uh, and then I'm going to have at least one set uh, of those green pumpkin crawls by themselves. If you want to pick those up, you can. Uh, just some stuff that I made here tonight. But I appreciate everyone who watches, likes, and subscribes. Appreciate you all. Uh, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.